guys welcome back to my channel thanks for subscribing or if you found this through social media links thank you for following me on there um today's video is just a bit of a primark haul really i went on holiday to well i'd say on holiday let's say i went for a little traveling trip a little birthday trip to liverpool recently um for about four nights so five days in total and i did a hell of a lot of shopping and generally ate and drank a lot and it was a really good trip so i just thought i'd share with you some things that i bought uh, starting with my Primark finds because I have a pretty good Primark there like it is huge but it was a little bit difficult to get around because it it was just swamped like so many people around especially on the Saturday but anyway it managed to get around managed to try quite a lot on and these are the few key pieces that I bought so starting with shoes um, I found two pairs of shoes which are identical minus the colour and I just had to buy them these are what they look like. They're like a lovely camel colour and they've got a lovely pointed toe. Um, they're just, I don't know, I just feel like they're quite a classic shoe. But they've got this really nice long ankle bit that kind of goes over your ankle. Although it's not actually that slim. You know, it could do with being a bit tighter. That's the only thing that I wish was a little bit different about these. But apart from that, I just absolutely loved them and I had to buy them because I think they were £13 on offer from 15 and 15 was good anyway so what a bargain had to get those so that's the first colour I also got them in blue because I'm absolutely digging blue at the moment this is the blue pair and they're just exactly the same style the only thing is they were slightly scuffed but they were the only ones left so I just had to get them um, because if you don't hang about then they'll be gone so I just had to buy them in blue as well and they were also 13 pounds so I was in the middle of all of that and then it died on me, so that was fun. So I've had to kind of take a break, do a bit of vlogging and then we're back on. So <laughs> carrying on from what I was saying, I got this bag for my birthday from my sister and it's this really cool David Bowie-esque bag. It, I've used it for toiletries so far, I used it when I went away and it, it's kind of good for everything really. It's a really nice size so it fits quite a lot in. Currently got a lot of toiletries and all sorts of stuff in it so it's just generally a great size and it's really good at protecting stuff if you don't want to put things loose in a suitcase so that's my next thing so this is my next little purchase from Primark it's this cute blue little bag it was only seven pounds so of course I had to buy it it's got a little really really small handle on it um, which I haven't really used so far to be honest I've just used like the big strap on it um, but it kind of sits at a good length um, kind of on your hip but you kind of just sit here as well and I just thought for seven pound it was so worth it and it kind of went with my outfit at the time so that was a definite buy it's not got loads of room on the inside <laughs> my bag's super messy at the minute and um, it's kind of got one little pocket at the back like a little zipper and then a tiny pocket at the front which doesn't quite fit my phone in which is a little bit of a pain but it's just great for if you just want to go out with a few bits, you don't want to take all your makeup out with you and you've just got a card wallet rather than a big purse. It's kind of that perfect size for the evening. Next on my list is this beautiful blouse. It's got these gorgeous frilly sleeves. I've worn this on quite a few occasions recently when I was in Liverpool and then since I've got back. It's just really, really nice. It's got it's just got a really, really nice texture to it as well. Um, I don't know if it'll show up on the camera really. It's quite thin, but it's not ultimately see-through. I feel like you could wear it with a kind of nude bra. You could get away with that. Um, but I have been wearing it under like a thin knit underneath or a vest. So I would probably advise if you got this to wear something like that rather than having a bit of a bra fail. So yeah, generally I just really loved this. And it was £10, so I thought it was quite reasonable for a blouse from Primark. And like I say, I've not stopped wearing it, so I must like it. So that's my first top. The next top I got, and this is also a present from my sister, she knows me so well, is this glittery t-shirt that says Bowie on it, and this was another birthday present that she got me. It's got this gorgeous gold sheen to it, it's just really shiny and lovely, and it's just a little kind of crop top. You can kind of just wear in the day for when you don't want to wear something really bland, it's quite shiny and shimmery, so it's just something a little bit different. The last thing I got from Primark is this absolutely lovely coat that's leopard print and I'm just digging it so much Um I think I've worn this like my blouse that kind of combo for like the last few days 
and I just, yeah, I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. I feel like Leopard Print's really coming back in this year, and I saw it and thought, well, for 25 quid, I've got to buy that. So here it is. It's just got like a really nice, small lapel collar part, and a few stud buttons, so there's no buttons that kind of show, which I really like, because I seriously don't like anything with buttons on. If anybody knows me, they'll know that I'm like mega funny about buttons. Uh, so it's got these like little poppers really that it does up with that cover over really nicely. It's kind of halfway down the top of your leg. Um, so it's quite a long coat and it's, very, it's quite warm really actually. The weather's dropped quite cold over the last few days and it's kept me very, very warm. So I'm very impressed with the quality of this coat and yeah, I just hope it lasts me the winter really. The next few items I'm going to show you uh, aren't Primark things but they're things that I bought in Liverpool and I just had to throw them in here because I'm absolutely in love with these items. So the first item is these absolutely gorgeous velvet blue boots from TK Maxx. I absolutely adore these. When I saw them and I tried them on I was like, I have to get those boots because they're just so nice. From memory they were £25 which I don't think is too bad at all and they're a brand called Bebo. Yeah Bebo, reminds me of that thing everyone used to go on as kids, website Bebo. Um, but yeah, what more can I say? They're like blue velvet style boots and they just completed my outfit, you know, with my leopard print coat and your blouse and everything. They just felt like a quirky little thing to add to it. So I bought those as well. So I'm nearly at the end of the things that I bought, but this I've been wanting for ages and ages. I spotted it months ago in Leeds and regretfully didn't buy it and looked online. I was thinking of buying it online but I wanted to go somewhere that had it so I could try it on and feel it and see what the quality was like. So I finally ordered it into store in Liverpool while we're there and this is a blue city bag from Zara. It's got gorgeous gold detail in there. I just absolutely love it. I just love the colour. It's not suede but it's got that kind of look to it. It just feels really luxurious and I feel like I could wear this every day with anything really. Just add a little bit of colour. It's also got this shoulder strap so obviously you can adjust that again. So it's a really nice length, kind of sits on your hip there, kind of close to your body and I don't know if I can say much more about this other than I'm completely in love. <laughs> So last but not least in my little Liverpool haul is this Miss Selfridge leather jacket with a really cute white fur collar. I picked this up in Debenhams I think, yeah it was Debenhams. It got a few like sale bits so I was having a bit of a rummage and I came across this. And it was in the sale, I think it was 55 originally but 35 in the sale so again just a really big bargain. And I'm looking, I was kind of looking for something that would replace my old tatty leather jacket because I'd had it for, like, I've had it for years. And it's kind of worn really well. It's a Topshop one and it does look okay, but I wanted something a bit more girly, a little bit more feminine, and just with a little bit more to it. And I'd seen quite a lot that have these kind of little fur collars. So I was really thrilled when I saw this in the sale. And it just fits really well as well. It's got a really kind of slim part to it on your waist which is really nice um, I feel like it kind of comes in at the side which is kind of what you want you know rather than having something really bulky so yeah this is my last item I can't wait to wear it and I just feel like it's something you can really zip up and for those nights where it's not freezing cold and you just want to wear something classic over something this is the item to wear Thank you so much for watching guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this haul so I basically got a few bits from Primark, a few bits from um, TK Maxx, Zara, Miss Selfridge, generally just bought things. <laughs> so I just thought I'd share with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do like the video and give me a subscribe if you'd like to see more. Also, maybe comment some ideas of what you've enjoyed about it and what you'd like me to do next. So thank you for watching. Bye guys.